What's up Terabytes? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios and today I'm going to be reacting to Chris Stapleton and Justin Timberlake's Tennessee Whiskey. So I want you to help me decide, answer this question. Can any singer sing any genre authentically? We're going to decide in this video. Used to spend my nights out in a barroom. Because you hear that one sentence from Chris and you're like, yeah, he belongs in country, right? Because listen to how he says his vowels, love, in the max, forward, right through the teeth. But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom. Uh, it's there, it's in the jaw. And brought me back, being too far gone. So the vowels are either really forward or really chewed. Bad. So we got some three-part harmony going on. You're a sweet strawberry wine. Famous part. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. Oh! Okay, now you know I gotta stop there to say a couple things. First of all, all singers out there, if you're gonna cover this song, you better do this riff at least once in the song to prove that you can. If you can't, I'm sorry, it's not the best cover. You have to prove that you did this iconic and legendary riff in order to, in my opinion, properly qualify to cover it. Now let's talk about the way he sings this. It is so forward and into the teeth, and he has this double tone, this textured grit and gravel in his voice the entire time on the way down that really is just intrinsically part of his voice. Now, a singer can learn to affect their voices and imitate that, but I want to be very clear. This is a part of his voice naturally that he is not attempting to produce. It just auto produces. It is an involuntary sound in his voice. So I want you to listen again and pay attention to that double tone, that grit and gravel, that nasty goodness in his voice and listen to it one more time. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. It carries through all the way even into the low notes. So you know that this is not necessarily happening because it's a high part of his voice, which does sometimes happen to singers where as they go really, really high, there's this great double tone effect that happens. No, this happens to him on every single one of those notes, even on the lower end, which proves what I'm saying. It is intrinsically and involuntarily a part of his voice. For this reason and so many others, Chris Stapleton is 110% supposed to be singing country music. And speaking of country music, I actually have an interesting sidebar that you need to know about. If you are a lover of country music and someone that really enjoys knowing what goes on behind the scenes and not just the perfect outer shell of country music, then you need to check out the CMA's YouTube channel. They have a couple really cool series on there called The High Notes and In Their Boots. Some things that I really love and resonate with on the High Notes series in particular is how the format of the series is so approachable. It really makes you feel like you are there yourself. There's not a whole lot of this like polished, perfect video. They're interviewing artists with a set that you can see and really gives you the feeling of being on set with them. And for you guys who are my fans, you know that I'm all about authenticity, integrity, and full transparency. I personally think there must be more content like this for music lovers and for aspiring singers and musicians to see. So go check out the link in my description to see the playlist for the high notes and subscribe to the CMA YouTube channel to see more behind the scenes action. Now, I love the three-part harmony. I wish Morgan's mic was turned down just a little bit because I'm hearing a little too much of that top end. Okay, listen carefully here. What are you hearing when you're hearing this? Think about descriptive words. It's beautiful. It's artistic. It's stylized. It's advanced. But Justin Timberlake still sounds pop in the context of this country song. Now, that may be an unpopular opinion. You Justin fans out there, of which I am one of, might say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're dogging Justin. I'm not dogging Justin. This is a conversation we're having about 
is an artist intrinsically made to sing in a certain genre? And I vote yes. I am telling you that Justin right now is stretching the bounds outside of pop and delving into country, using the tools and the giftings that he has within his voice to stretch into this. But it is a stretch. It is not the sweet spot in his voice. So as a result, you still hear so much pop in his voice. He's not trying to be a Chris Stapleton. He's trying to be Justin within the context of country music and there's a big difference. So vocally, whereas Chris has this forward gritty, like smoky bar room with a beer and a cigarette type of sound, which is just so luscious and amazing and it's perfectly written for this song. I mean, it's Chris Stapleton and Tennessee Whiskey after all. Justin does an amazing job of taking his sweet spot style, which is pop, and adding this breadth of a different vocal perspective inside what we sonically expect from Tennessee Whiskey, which I think is brilliant and is a really cool duet choice. But still, Justin sounds pop within country, not like Chris, who sounds country within country. Now, if Chris Stapleton went to go sing, I'm bringing sexy back, I would be saying the exact same thing about Chris Stapleton. And who knows, it might be a really cool sound. That's why collabs are a beautiful thing. But for singers out there who are listening to this, I want you to have one thing very clear in your mind. Both of these singers know exactly who they are and what their vocal sweet spot is. And they deviate from that sweet spot, but they do not lose their vocal identity. Love the horns in the background too. I love that delay on the strawberry wine, it's so nice. Oh, I love that deviation. See, and he's gotta change up, it sounds more pop. He's staying true to who he is. Love that 6 Woo! Even their vibrato lined up there, that was amazing. Notice how they were all straight tone there on the sweet. Built it up, yes! Horn section, go! Little deviation there at the end for him, I like it. So beautifully written, it's so Tennessee sexy, whiskey. so easy listening, yet so advanced. Oh, oh. So what do you think? Can any singer sing in any genre authentically and really, really well? Join the Tara Simon Studios app and let me know what you think on the inside. And if you want to have your mind blown, check out this video next.